200. He was on 400. Yeah, I guess. Yeah! Oh. Lowdown Hot Stove Baseball Talk out here at Camelback Ranch. We're here with Jaron Kendall. Jaron, thank you so much for spending a couple minutes with us. Spring training in between sessions here. Well, what's going on, man? It's going good, man. It's nice to be back out here. Nice to have some nice warm weather again, that's for sure. No rain. So we're getting it going out here, yep. It's been a weird spring uh, for Southern California, a lot of the country, even here in Arizona. Definitely need the layers in the morning, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. You get out here early in the morning, you throw on like maybe a little sweatshirt, but it gets warm towards the end of the day, so it's okay. How was the off season for you? Did you get enough rest? Uh, yeah, it was good. I mean, it was. Uh, we've only had two off seasons now, but this was definitely a more busy off season for me. Uh, it was all a good thing, you know, coming through and you know getting everything done, you know, as far as hitting, and uh, honestly, just making you know one part of my game that was a little lackadaisical last year, and maybe not. Um, as good as I would like it to be, but getting out and getting in front of some guys and hearing different guys' philosophies on hitting, um, that's mostly what I did this year. So it was, it was a good offseason for me. I really needed it, yeah. All right, spring training now. I mean, you've been talking about the hitting. Is that your focus here at spring training, or is it just getting back into baseball shape at this point? Uh, I mean, definitely for sure getting back into baseball shape. I think that's everybody's goal when they're out here. Um, but no, definitely, I mean, hitting's at the at the top of the, the leaderboard right now with, you know, time I've been putting into it and the importance of it. Um, honestly, at this point, it's just getting just more consistent with what I've been working on. I think I've I've learned a lot of things over, you know, the, the time that I had last year and then this offseason. I put in enough work to where I might have, you know, a baseline of what I need to do and what I need to keep consistent. So... Um, like I said, yeah, right now it's just me repeating the same swing, you know, as many times as I can to make it more um, just mental habit instead of me having to think so much, you know. Thinking sucks. I'm, I'm not good at it. <laughs> uh, anyways, as far as some things that you might be thinking about right now taking you away from baseball or maybe baseball is taking you away from or some of your friends away from video games. Do you, do you think mm. anybody that you know, don't name any names, do you think anybody that you know on the team has a problem? Um, I mean, the amount of hours that some guys put into playing video games is a little over the top. But, I mean, we're, we got, you know, six to seven hours a day when we're doing absolutely nothing, you know? So, um, I mean, we take care of ourselves, you know, from just a body standpoint, so it's not taking us down from there. Sure. It's not, video games isn't taking us away from anything. So, but uh, yeah, guys do put in many, many hours on uh, video games, yes. I just noticed that in the off season, that I was trying to get a hold of some guys to uh, do some interviews, and then uh, I couldn't get a hold of them. But I, they would be talking about Fortnite and stuff. Oh, yeah. But so I just wanted to ask that question. Yeah. So there's nobody you're worried about then? Nobody I'm worried about now. Okay, very good, very good. Thanks for having a little bit of fun with us this time, Jaron. Thank you, and uh, go get them in 2019. Thank you, of course.